Before we get started with this week's Sunday Bunch Sunday Debate, I want to apologise up front for the quality of the picture and the quality of the sound. It isn't up to the usual standard and it will be rectified for next week. Enjoy. Right, here we go. Something different today. We did have the Sunday Bunch usually, but we are one banana short of a bunch because <laughs> Mr. Weefully can't make it today. He's really busy, so... It's my editing skills, my useless rubbish <laughs> editing skills today. So it's called the Sunday Debate, but before we get started with the debate, I want to say thank you to George for letting us have the studio yet again. If you want to come down for a Sunday dinner, get yourself down to the Hastings Hill pub. Right, on the panel today, we have Michael. He can upload, is that intelligent? He can upload a video within five minutes of the match finishing bowers. <laughs> Thank and you. On, and on the right hand side, we have Sean. Sean can get anybody to open up and talk on camera because he's so sexy for his shirt. <laughs> so sexy for his shirt. So sexy, it hurts my eyes. And further to the right, we have Dean. Yes, Dean. Dean, you know, you have your Wyatt Earps. You have your Billy the Kids. But Dean has the safest and the strongest hand for a camera in the North East, <laughs> Dean Elgar, yes, Dean Elgar, he has the most secure hand in the North East. Right, so before we get started with the main topic today, we want to go back and talk a little bit about the Doncaster match. Now, for me, on Friday night, he thinks he's a legend in his own mind. He thinks he was the bee's knees, but when he watches the sky highlights after the match, he realised he was absolutely useless. That was the referee. He wanted to be oh, number God. one on the night, but for me, he was only a number two in the toilet. Right, Michael, get started with Friday night's <laughs> match against Doncaster. Uh, number two was a bit generous, wasn't it? Well, it I must know. be like my, yeah, number no. minus 100, more than likely. Um, what have we said before? Referees in this league are absolutely diabolical. I have absolutely no idea... There was one occasion, do you remember in the first, was it in the first 10 minutes of the game? Maguire was cutting in down the right hand side. Yeah. Literally got taken out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, there wasn't a booking. What? No unbelievable. Unbelievable. No booking whatsoever. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. And the, so the sooner that the, the FA deal with this, the better. I don't can people say, oh, League One, League Two referees, oh, you just got to accept it's rubbish. No, well, they're still employed by the FA. They should still know what a basic decision is. And it would have been just been for us. There have been decisions he gave against Doncaster and gave us three kicks that would probably be soft. This bloke's going to sit down and look at the highlights of himself. What everybody in the world seen who watched that match and going to go, oh shit, I was absolutely garbage. I'm going to get sacked. Thoughts on the referee, Sean? Or even the game itself? Um, well, the referee wasn't great, like, but to be fair, the game wasn't uh, great either. Um, I think I can't, I can't actually recall us having a, um, a clear chance in the whole of the game. And I, I think it was a. There was a chance where all nine was through by drilled he, across he, the box. He, when he decided to cross it instead of going for the shot. But um, I think the game, the game was really poor. Like, but I mean, I, I always try to take the positives out of the game. Out of the game, there wasn't many. But obviously, it's uh, eight, eight games undefeated. Um, I think it's four wins out of five. So he's you know it's another clean sheet. He's got to dust ourselves off and hopefully um, try and maybe run the cells into the ground to deer and then Wednesday they'll be tight and we can beat them. We're only six points off the top and we have a game in hand so it's not all doom and gloom. Like I said, a point gained, not a point lost or whatever it was, I don't know. Dean, what's your thoughts on the match? I think you mean two drugs, I mean two drugs. Nah, it's something like that. <laughs> it's all six <laughs> points before this Sunday bunch of head it right, 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 right now. <laughs> Again, referee, what what are these referees at the, in this league, man? I mean, I wouldn't even allow him to referee a Sunday league game, never mind a Steam a light game. It was embarrassing. The referee don't get us wrong, he was um, letting the trying to let the game flow, but sometimes it was fouls, clear fouls, and he wasn't giving them. Uh, I must admit, I'll take for the third game in a row now, he's handballed it and got away with it. He's got a yellow card. Smart, Fairness, yeah. smart in a way, but you'll get it banned soon, because he'll be on fa coming up five yellow cards. Again, positives, kept clean sheets, which is great. And about clean sheet in the bag, that's free off the bounce, I think now. Yeah. But I think Doncaster came and knew we only have one attacking threat coming down Hume side, coming down the left hand side with Gucci and Hume. And uh, it could tell because we didn't really clear make any clear cut chances apart from the 09 one where he should have shot. Mm -hmm. Don't don't aim for a laugh at your weight in the middle, just shoot. You're in a perfect country, you just try and stick that in the bottom corner. Mm -hmm. If the keeper saves it, you've had a shot. But for it to come like it it, it, it did, nothing happened after that when he crossed it. No one got near it. Just shoot. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When you're in the box, shoot. Don't look for an easy pass. Just shoot. But other than that, I think Doncaster 
done the homework and just realised we everything comes down the left hand side because our centre midfield don't offer anything going forward because it's all sideways passing. But we go on to Tramia, just look at this as a clean sheet and a point earn, a, just a normal point. Obviously we wanted to win, but you can't win every week. And it wasn't the best performance all around, so take the point and move yeah. on. Point I mean, gained, yeah, definitely. No, I mean, it, it wasn't the best result, but I mean, from Donny's perspective, well-deserved point from their perspective. Um, they were very tight defensively. And I think there was a stat after the game that I think Sunderland and Donny had two of the best defences in the league. So for it to be a nil-nil, probably when I look at it that way, it probably shouldn't have been so surprising. I mean, I think apart from the all nine chance, we had one decent one towards the end where Watmore, if he just gets the ball low under the keeper, he probably would have gone in, but that would have been harsh on... Donny to have certainly not got anything out of the game because again they more than deserved it had their own chances um, you know there was one incident where we gave the ball away and they slid it they, they were pretty much running towards goal and didn't even get a shot on target and I don't know if it was the Oz Turk handball that Dino mentioned but there was one where it was the, basically one of their players was almost one on one through on goal and he slipped and ran out that of steam that was seat. after the handball was it after what was it right Oz, after right Oz after? Turk hit his hand it hit the back of his head and it went on the referee gave play on he gave advantage because number 10 was through uh, uh, and then yeah, obviously yeah. I think it might be Willis got near him mm. and, he do, and he clearly dove yeah. in which case we were lucky to not go down to 10 men there because that's, you know, that, that's usually yeah, straight dove, card. Yeah. which referee got right he gave us the yellow card right, rightfully so because it was a blatant handball he done it on purpose <laughs> I like no but we didn't concede and we continued on from the you game know. and nothing really I happened I mean Donny aren't a bad side either so you know um, I wouldn't have been shocked that it was a draw but to take the point move on to Tramia yeah. I want to come back to you, Don Aster. They said the same as Sunderland, 3-4-3. Three, three. They must have watched a few matches of Sunderland that we get in the faces, high-pressing game. They did exactly the same on Friday. They took the game to us, and to be honest, they deserved the point. But teams now and managers are going to suss out Phil Parkinson's tactics. So what can Phil Parkinson change and bring to the game, bring to the table? To make things different there, sort of spice things up a bit. What can we do, Sean? I say that that's what I was about to mention. That um, when it, I think when it the spark like uh, on Friday night, I think it was like when Gooch and Maguire when they like have a, a below par game, it was just going to step up and, and, and unlock not the pull, not the door. You know, you a, a bit of quality when we won the game. Um, if we got those two free free kicks, where. White was scythed down just outside the penalty box, and Maguire was scythed down on the left, on the right hand side. Things could have been a bit different in the first half. Yeah, you know, well, it could have been, but it's all this and but. I mean, I just think like you know, Don Castillo got to give respect, and the, they come even the the they're coming for a draw, and they just they, you know the play the play well really. I mean, we just didn't we just didn't offer enough to win the game. Yeah. I think no, that was a fair result, but like you see, we need to learn if teams come up there, we've got to break them down. And we haven't, we haven't got many players it's to a, do that. Yeah, it's a sort of thing that we probably should be adapted to by now since we've gone into League One. We've been in League One 18 months now. And we know the teams are going to raise the game against us. They're not yeah. going to try and suss us out. So by now, we should really have a different answer. Plan B is pretty much needed because then it will catch opposition out by surprise yeah. if Plan A doesn't work for us. So I'll ask us all one question, right? Charlie White, for me, had his worst game for a long time on Friday night. When is the time for Kyle Lafferty to start? Is it too soon yet? Do we bring him on at half time or do we give him a full start very shortly? I'd say starts. I think White's had enough chances now. I think Lafferty will offer a bit more. He's a bit taller and he looks more confident on the ball. So I'd say give Lafferty a go. And if Lafferty doesn't work like in the first half, then you can bring White on. Sure. I think he's got to get his fitness levels up. I think as soon as Lafferty's uh, fitness levels up, like, like you say, he's been. I don't know if he was just—he was a free agent, so I'm not sure if he was actually training. He probably wasn't celebrating being training, but I think as soon as he gets his fitness levels, as <laughs> soon as he gets his fitness levels up to scratch, I think he's stepping in front of White, like 100. percent Michael, I think that we could probably should be start looking to start Liam Boyce against Trump. Oh wait, no, sorry, I've oh. gone for him. Never mind. Oh, I'm um, just, just that again. 150. Oh, 150k. Yeah, I didn't bother to go for him. No, I know. To, well, that will come later, I'm sure. Uh, for Lafferty, yeah. Do you know what it is? I would be tempted to start him against Tramia because. Although we've said before the pitch isn't very good, Tranmere are a team that do leak quite a bit of goals, and I think that's the time to get Lafferty's fitness up. It's the time to try and get him, you know, because I think one of the things that the one thing, the only reason I've said before that White starts is that he fits the system that Parkinson tries to play. That he goes goes route one to the forward, holds the ball, and then other people press forward and get into the and down the channels. And I think Lafferty could do that. I think Lafferty could work on his pressing a little bit because I think that was a bit short against Donny but that's his first 20 minutes of football probably for a good few months so yeah for, for me I, I'm with Dino I think if you start, start him doesn't work 
Bring White on, no issues. I don't think White won any balls on Friday night. Mm. I don't Barely think he won. He hardly jumped off the ground for me when Lafferty came yeah. on. Jumped seven foot in the air, chested yeah. the ball down, yeah. straight yeah. there, one of the left on players yeah. on the left yeah. hand side. You can tell Lafferty's technically better than White already. Yeah, not, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it, White doesn't. White just gets beaten the air too easily for me almost every time. You know, it, for the height he is, again, I've said how many times, sorry, Jonas, for the amount of times he should be dominating centre backs. I think they were team, Dobson and, um, and uh, Power. I think it's running out. We've been playing well lately, but I always say that eventually that'll catch up. Yeah, I think they're very, they're very similar. When I, I think we're crying out for a midfielder who just like tap the player on and, and, and unlock, you know, unlock the door. And we haven't got about that. We need a, we need a midfielder. Like. Does, but but apparently, we're going to be putting in for an improved offer for Dockett. Dockett so yeah, like, that sounds yeah. like someone, and again, I'm just basing it off uh, what, 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 what Pete's been saying, for example, or what he did at Shrewsbury last year that apparently was really good. So get him. Mm-hmm. Right, now that's over and done. Done and dusted. Time for the main debate of the day. Here we go for part two. And this is the main debate. This is the reason why we've came today. Got this bunch of bananas together. It's the debate. It's Donald versus Short. Now, before we get started, I want to say one thing. I think the first mistake Ella Short made was falling out with Roy Keane. For me, if he'd made love to Roy Keane, brought him into the fold, oh, and give him the amount of money he gives Steve Bruce, and Paolo Di Canio, I think Roy Keane could have done a better job than some of the other ones. So we'll start the debate off, debate off with Michael in the middle. Michael, the one that's sort of in between. Yeah, yeah. what's happening here? We've all moved around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Michael, get on with us. Hey. It's about that I just can't get an image out of my head of what you just said there. Like, yeah, they should make love to Roy Keane. Make love, <laughs> <some> baby. <laughs> you just made that ten times worse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, it was it's mainly for these two because these two always have this debate. We've had this debate on camera all the time about Ellis Short, me, Stuart Donald, who saved the club and all that. So um, we kind of sit on one side because we sit on one fence yep. and Sean sits on the opposite side of the fence. So this is going to be interesting. Me and Michael can see both sides. We can see <laughs> both corners of their argument. I'm going to try it. Here, be honest. I'm going to try it. Here. <laughs> Go on, Dino. Right. Obviously, Shaw took a, took charge in 2009, I believe. I think he, it was a consortium in 2008, but he took full ownership in 2009. 2009 season. 2009 season. And in the nine seasons, I think, was he here for nine seasons or ten? Ten. He was here for ten seasons, but in that time, we had nine managers. Nine. Let's get nine managers. So we swapped and changed willy-nilly all the time. And the managers stem from Martin O'Neill, Steve Bruce, DeCanio, Poirier, Dick Advocat, Sam Allardyce, David Moyes, Simon Grayson, and Chris Coleman. And also the one that resigned at the beginning, we had Roy King who resigned on December the 4th, yes. 2008, after Ella Short sort of got his feet under the table in about September time. So do you count Ricky Sabraja in that list as well then? Okay, so, so you would have Kim Wall. So, if you're, so are we just yeah. are we just talking main full time number one yes. choice managers? Yes, okay. that's what we're talking. Yeah. Okay. And I believe, like Roy Keane, I thought he was the right man for something at the time, and he left because he fell out with Ellis Short. Why was that? Was it because of money? Was it because Ellis Short's not a nice man? I don't know. What do you reckon, Sean? Um, I think. Nice. He's probably, had, he's probably had a discussion with him about, well, about money. Um, and I think, you know, Roy King's like he's, um, it's either his way or nowhere. Um, I believe that, I do I do believe what uh, my mistake said there. I think if, if he was given the money what other managers were given, I think Roy King could have done a, a good job. Could have actually maybe he's got us in the top half and, and been, a, you know, a, a bit of a little bit of success. But um, I think they've, they've obviously, when the German Villain consultant left and Ellis Shaw took over, I think there was. I think um, he basically had a shot as I'm the boss and you did what I seen and Roy King's over he said no you know what I mean and they've, had, they've had a heated discussion about that sometimes new people come in they just want to make a stamp straight away and just bring in the own manager that they want straight away so maybe his, his mind was made up before he even met Roy King you don't know do you well quite possible but I, I still you know I, Short might have had somebody else lined, lined up but I, I think it was just a case of he's come in and he's, they've had a discussion and I think you know, it's, yeah. it's busy you know why you know what I believe I believe El Short doesn't like someone who will answer back. If you look down the list, <clears> really, there's only one or two people there who are like, no, it's my way, not your way. I'm managing the team, like Roy yeah. Keane. I mean, Roy Keane won't just stand down and take things. Can I just point out? Sorry, no, go on. No, no, go on. Okay. No, Sam Allardyce is the biggest example, right? Sam Allardyce is, is an old school, proper no nonsense manager, my way or the highway. That's pretty much how it is. And Allardyce resigned after about well he left for England but the word was coming out of the club that he was going to resign anyway yeah. he was going to leave because 
Ellis Short shot Gasparra, promised everyone money, didn't fulfil it. Whether we had that money at the time, I don't know, but then he shouldn't have promised it in the first place. Um, so Allardyce leaves, is that because Ellis Short is the main figurehead in everything? Like, oh, I don't have the money. When, when England comes calling, you kind of turn yeah, it down. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 but the, the England thing could be an excuse to hide behind for sure. Sam, Sam Allardyce did say it, he said the only job, but he would have left something for was the England job. Unfortunately, no. first Roy Hodgson, you know, the, uh, the Harry Kane on corners and Iceland result. Right, that, that, I just very quickly point out for sure one big one big thing that you mentioned falling out with Roy Keane. He fell out with Niall Quinn as well. Niall Quinn was allowed to go. I what was the crap there? Which I mean, I didn't know the full extent, but and I yeah. let, let, let Niall Quinn go was that was a big mistake. Like. Do you think if he was like that kind of person who my way or the highway? Why did he employ so many idiot MDs and then let them make all the decisions? Rather was that a shot pulling the strings? Or did he just say, right, you're in charge, say, say Margaret Byrne or, or, or what do you call the other ones? Margaret, Margaret Byrne, Margaret Byrne, Margaret Byrne, Lee, 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 Lee. Defanti, well, was another one. Yeah. Lee Congerton as well. So, right. were they in charge of the club and they just did what they wanted? Or was Ella Short pulling the strings? Well, every, for me, everything has to go by Ella Short, because Ella Short's money, which everyone loved, like he was putting money into the club, but if someone says, I need 50 million, you know, do you not think Ella Short will go, what for? Who are you buying? What investment are you going to bring? He's not going to say, oh, there's 50 million. Uh, for me, Ellis Short would want to know who you're going to buy. If, if he's going to say, oh, I'm going to buy a championship player for 10 million, do you think Ellis Short will go? Ah, right, go on then. After you say no, you want some quality players in, not a championship player no, in the Prem. You're going to about. Obviously, Ellis Short did give managers money. I mean, there was a lot of money wasted. I mean, um, I didn't make a big enough, but Adam Johnson, we know what happened there. That yeah, wasn't, that wasn't a waste of money, though, because he no, was a good player. And now, but effectively, though. The, the, situ <clears throat> the situation, what happened? The situation resulted in us. Well, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Stephen, okay, Fle okay. Stephen Fletcher, 14 yeah. million. Well, that is, you know, well, that is contract run down, so he went for free. Uh, Danny Graham, 5 million and a big wage. Well, that is right. his contract run down and go for free. Right. Do you know what I mean? In the 10 years, short as you are, he pumped in 200 million, right? Yes. Bear in mind, 200 million for. For a team like Sunnans, a lot of money, right? But you, you expect a buy quality, and that's if if you look at some of the signings were made over that ten years. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward I'm, to hearing. I've, I've, I've got a good, I've got a big list, oh, right? Oh, it's oh, a, God, it's God, a God, very God. big list, right? The first season he bought Darren Bent, crap and signing. Ten million, right? enough, yeah. Michael Turner, we bought for, uh, see it on here, 12 million. Was he a good sign at the time? I've seen. Uh, yes, I'd say he was all right. good. Lee Catamore, definitely. Lorik Sauna. I'd say there's four good signings, but yeah. then you go down. Fraser Campbell, uh, uh, three million. Yeah. Matthew Kilgallen, two million. John Mensah on loan, but was signed him. Uh, remember that Paulo de Silva? No, I just, yeah, yeah. And then it's a load of like freezing that, like uh, Zenden, Alan Hutton. Ben Zenden Darley. was good though. I like Zenden. I like Zenden. I like Zenden. Zenden. Um, but then, the, but then the season after, out Darren Bent gone. So Darren Bent was gone. Uh, but we sent we we down with Ben for I mean it was twenty three minutes for that at the time so and that was a it was a I was a bit annoyed but, but, but he wanted to go and at the end of the day we doubled our money and, and a little bit more. And did you not see Darren mm. Ben's interview though that apparently he was giving us a conflicting type of the story mm -hmm. that Sullivan basically wanted to sell him just to get money. Was that because was that after Steve Bruce had gone on before? No, that was, that was um, no that was during Steve Bruce. It was the mm. time in, I think it was January. It was January, 10, 11, 10, yeah, 10 11. It was January. Oh, I, was, I remember this. It was, January, January, it was a January. It was a January window in two thousand eleven and. Ben basically had decided that he wanted to, well, basically to further his England career, he went to Aston Villa. And bearing in mind at the time, Villa were something like fourth bottom in the Premier League, Sunderland was sixth and trying for Europe. So that doesn't make sense to me. But the um, point was going to be that Ellis Short was apparently pumping a amount, amount of money into the club. And now, and this, I'm just basing it off a podcast I listened to a couple of years ago. It was the former Sunderland Echo writer, Graham Anderson, who said this. Um, he reckoned that it was at a time where Quinn was under pressure to deliver short money because Short pumped a lot of money in, hardly getting anything back, and Bent was viewed as a quick fix, quick fix there. Yeah. So does that mean that Short viewed getting money over keeping a player who was scoring goals and was propelling us into the top six? And then we didn't replace yeah. him. Yeah. In, so, which in fairness might have been down to Steve. Was, Bruce that, was, was, that, was that the same? That was the same season. Same yeah. season. Dennis down yeah. Ben, right? Ben, Jan, and Welbeck were there. That because then there was nothing there. Jan was signed in with good uh, talent to play. Then all of a sudden we didn't sign. Something. We didn't sign Jan then because we got rid of Kevin Jones that season. We got rid of Lorik Sauna. We signed Sauna for five and got rid of him for four. How does that make sense? Yeah. I know Sauna wanted to go for Champions League football, but if he's a Champions League player, surely you can get more than four million from. This is just one going off on here. Mm -hmm. It might not be all true, right? So, so going off there. All in all, was Ella Shod. A bad owner or a good owner? Can somebody make so many mistakes in one, you know, owning a club? Made that many mistakes? Paulo Di Canio came in 
And De Fanti was... basically bought the players in for De Canio, the players that De Canio didn't want. So well, how can the owner make so many mistakes well, in, one, in one ownership? Can I just put your list here, right? So look at the amount of managers yeah. uh, on this list. Oh, man, Jack managers. did sign that season yeah, by okay. mistake. Oh, fair enough then. Right. Sorry, I'm just getting Nicky notebook here. Uh, right, the managers that we had on the, again, I'll reiterate this. Steve Bruce, Martin O'Neill, Paolo Di Canio, Gus Poyet, Dick Advocat, Sam Allardyce, David Moyes, Simon Grayson, and Chris Coleman. And then he said John Coleman for some reason, I don't know why. Um, so you go through nine managers in the space of, what is it, six, seven seasons. You know, and bear in mind, Bruce was here for two and a half years, pretty much. So say, say if you look from the start of the 2011-2012 season, that was the year Bruce left. So from then to 17-18, when we got relegated to League One, we then had nine managers in that time period. Something must have gone wrong to have nine managers over and over and over again. I can't tell me about that list as well. I mean, there's some, there's some decent managers in there. I mean, well, see, yeah. DeCanio had the problem, players went over his head and they got sacked because yeah. it was his way or no way, and the players didn't like that. So the players were hard, no, got no. him sacked. Oh, yeah. But do you really think Short would have liked DeCanio? Because DeCanio was... Another kind yeah, of Roy Keane character, fiery character, and he wouldn't just t- say no. And apparently the, the players were starting to rebel against Roy Keane because he was making them train too hard, the same as Di Canio was doing. Uh, so it was one of the reasons why Roy Keane was sort of was going to resign and sort of fell out Ellis Short as well. So if Ellis Short made that many mistakes, but his final his final job he did was to write the club off to sell to Donald, are we in a better situation now than before or after? Well, let's put, let's put, I'm going to put, can't argue this um, argument here. Like, we said Ellis Short invests a lot of money. I know in the Premier League, in the Premier League, we did. But look at the Championship season. What did we spend that season? We got £30 million for Jordan Pickford and basically didn't bother to reinvest any of that money into the team. In which case, from our perspective, we might as well not have sold right. Jordan Pickford. Well, if you go into the Championship season, right, I'll get you up. Oh, this the season was, uh, was 17 like, 18, it was. It was 17 18, right? Two seconds, right? So. Right, departures, right? We'll sell Pickford. I see it's 25 million, but it was around 30. 33. Yeah, I, think I, think right. I think it was with add ons. We got rid of Vigo Minoni. <laughs> what? What? No, Why no, get rid of Pickford? Like, I will right. point out Martin Bain has to be under some criticism for this as well. It's not 100%. Jure, Jureman Lenz, he went out on loan. He was on a couple of loans before we sold him properly. Yeah. Fabio Burini left on loan. Uh, James Vaughan, and then it's yeah. like Victor Anachibi, Will Buckley, Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> Stephen P, oh God's sake. Um, Sebastian <laughs> Sebastian Larson. And don't forget, we still had Kazri, Dilabaji, and Dilla Dom. Oh right? my God. So what? you look at that, and then we brought in James Vaughan from Bury for 500k. <laughs> Jason Steele. Right, that's be fair. Right, right, come on. Help. We've gone from Jordan Pickford and Vito Minoni to Jason Steele and Lee Camp. Yeah. It's a slippery so. slope. You have one manager brings in all his own players. He gets sacked. The next manager comes in and wants to bring in his own players. He gets sacked. The next manager wants to come in and bring in but his yeah, own but players. But That's so why it's such a turnover. But, but did them bring in the players when you look at the Canio season? We brought Cabral, David Moberg, Carlson. Do you think Decano knew these players from Sweden yeah. and stuff like that? Well, remember, we made 14 signings that summer. No, that was How just... often do you make a dozen right. signings and it clicks? Right. How often do you do you, it? You blame the people who bring in, bring, in, bring in them players, whoever that was at the time. But then you blame Shaw for, Imagine. why are you supplying the, this money for these players? They were no good because we got rid of them straight yeah. after. The, big, the biggest problem is that Shaw was not a football person. And that's the biggest thing against him. That you should have then employed someone who... Has been well regarded in the game. Who knows? Who genuinely knows about football? And then make sure you are guided the right way. But he didn't do that. He decided to go out and employ a bunch of people to kind of steady the ship financially. And again, you look at the championship season. My point was going to be: we signed Jason Steele for five hundred thousand. These are just reported fees, by the way. Five hundred thousand. We signed James Vaughan. James Vaughan for five hundred thousand. We spent two hundred fifty thousand on Ian McGeady. That's one point two five million spent, not including signing on our agent fees or anything like that. Just reported transfer fees after selling Jordan Pickford for thirty million, which none of which went into the transfer market when it should have done. Vio Manoni two million. Sorry, no one. Vio Manoni two million. Vio Manoni two million. So you so you make the around about thirty two million, and you don't even spend two million of that on players. If we if we had just had kept Manoni that season, I think we would have stayed up. I think that was the keep the three keepers we had that that season. If, and that was bad. I'm not going about the financial side, but I think um, at a short, what, what, what he basically d- did wrong was he just employed the wrong people at the wrong time what? and just constantly wasting, wasting money. I think when we went the championship as well, the wage bill was massive, so they had to try. I know we had the 45 million Polish payment, but they had, they, had, they, had to, they had to bring the wage bill right down. So I think the, the, well, the financial. So, right, you're well. saying that, right? So, did Stuart Donald not have to do the same thing because we've been down to League One? Right, say he's getting the smile because now he knows where I'm going with this. Right, so, 
So SmackDown had to do exactly the same what other show had done to reduce costs because League One you don't get any money practically. You might get a million for getting promoted or whatever. I don't know the whole financial. Right? You're not going to get much either way. But we got in a lot of loans. I mean, a lot of frees, right? Like Chris McGuire and people like that. But if you look at the championship season, right? Free transfer, Mark Wilson. Free transfer, Robin Rauter. Free transfer, Callum McManaman. Free transfer, uh, Kazenga Luwa On loan, Lee Camp, Williams, Jake okay. Clark, Salter, Oliver Ejera, Lewis Graben. Right, and then you got so, Tyler Brown and Brett, Brennan Galloway. Ethan, and then you got Ethan Robson. That so, if you look at that, Ellis Short done exactly the same in the championship season what we're doing in League One. Mm-hmm. But why didn't Short get criticism for it then? Especially when the difference is is that in the championship there's a bigger emphasis on spending money in that league. League One freebies and yeah, we might want to spend a bit of money in the league relative to League One, but League One you barely spend anything. Nine, I, nine times out of ten you barely spend anything. I think. I think obviously. Going back to your thing, Dan, I think um, the Sky money, I, th- I don't know how much it was, our last actual Sky payment, I think it was 110 million or something. I think when we got relegated, you've got to cut costs, uh, to be fair. But um, I just think, like, like you see, Stuart Don's, like, he's cutting costs now. Um, and I, I think I showed just in the end, I think he just had enough of, like, there was that much money wasted than this. It's like, it's like if you've got a business, right, and you're constantly employ- employing people, and the money's just getting wasted and you're getting well, not so much nothing in return because you know some people do it for the money some people don't what, 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 yeah. so yeah. Ellis Short has got one big regret his biggest regret was sat and stayed Bruce he wish he'd just stayed put let Steve Bruce manage the club if they got relegated he'd kick them in, in the championship and come back stronger with Steve Bruce that's what Ellis Short that's his biggest regret now his best thing he ever did was right off the debt to clear the debt for Sunderland. Now, I know you're, you're more of an Ellis Short fan than Stuart Donald, so you tell me what you think. Well, I mean, when, when, when obviously we were selling the club, I mean, I think he's been, he was selling that even in the championship season, he, you know, he, he left, there's a Martin, Martin Bain, he left him in charge from that, that, that season. Um, we, them players are still good enough to stay up, mind, I think, you know. But I think he made that, that many mistakes, um, Ellis Short. He did, he did make a lot, a lot of mistakes, but. You know, the, the, the biggest thing, the biggest thing, and best thing he do, did was, in the end, he cleared all the debt, so he, he made it possible for whoever, whoever, whoever was coming in, they've got a clean slate. Right. And, but without Stuart Doll coming in, though, that clean slate wouldn't have happened. Right. This is, right, this is what I've got to see, right? Oh, so, so you think, so, so do you think, oh, even, oh. If, even if it was somebody else, you think it was just because Stuart Donald's expertise and, 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 and his, let's, his negotiations? Let's just say something first, right? You said... Um, let Martin Bain run the club, right? Yeah. So from an owner standpoint, right, you're an owner of a football club, so he just left. People are running his club. If you're a good owner, you're there all the time. I know he's American, he lives in America, but you've got to keep all the details what's happening at Sun and what's going on with your money. Don't forget this is his money. For him to let other people spend his money, that's his fault. That's bad ownership. Yeah. So so I, I kind of believe by that point. He must have been in contact with Martin Baines every single day with the wooden of Sunderland. He would have been, but he wouldn't have been anywhere near. But by the time it's cleared off the slate, all the damage is already done. Right. He clears, you asked me this question, right? You went, why didn't you have to, why didn't Ellis Shaw put in just an administ- pay the extra ten million uh, to put in administration enough to write off the debt, right? If you done that, that means you've got to pay about ten million and he doesn't get any money back. We're selling it to Stuart Donald, he writes the debt off. But he's going to get 15 million of the parachute payment. So, what would you want to get? 15 million. 50. Because he was getting 25, 25. <clears throat> this, is what, this is what Stuart Donald said. He was going to get the, he was paying the club with the parachute money payments, right? right? So, instead of paying 10 million and getting nothing back, he's wiped 150 million behind the get off, but he's getting 50 million off Stuart Donald. What would you ever have? Well, but, well uh, <laughs> 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 oh. no, I did the deal, though. You've got, I mean, you've got to give. I'll have short some respect because uh, he's mad mistakes and he knows he's mad mistakes. What? He's mad mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I had his money. He's made mistakes and he's put his hands up and he, I mean, and, he, and he's cleared the debt under 52 million. Could could you say, like, a Mike Ashley did on that before but, he But why, why do you think, no, yeah. why do you think no, Ellis Short done that? Do you think he done it out of the good of his heart? He's like, no, because I'm going to get 50 million back. I know, you were, you were saying he's, he, he done that because it's the only way somebody would have took the club on. Is that what you, that, that's what you were believing in? I also think after that amount of time in charge, making that many mistakes, listening to the fans, seeing the fans, you know, getting on his back, I think, I think it all weighed him down. I think he just thought, right, I'm going to clear the debt. Yeah. I've made all this, this shitload of mistakes. Yeah. I've ruined this club. But, uh, I'm going to do the best thing, clear yeah. the debt, and hopefully Stuart Donald's going to be good enough to come in and bring them back up. Right, counter-arguing that, though. With Ellis Short, how can... 
who at the end of the day was owner when we suffered two relegations, where two back-to-back finishes in the championship, well, fault, uh, championship he actively chose to not invest in that January window. And with Sean earlier, I think the squad underperformed anyway. I but don't, that, I don't but, understand why you think it underperformed. We're bottom of the league for Because we got relegated really from the Premier League. That squad was good week. enough to steal. Like, it's how, it was, how, it was, right, goalkeepers, right? Was. Not one of them were good enough for the chip. Probably Robin Wright, but he never got picked, right? Who was it? Right, Chris Coleman, good man Jack Wales, but he never really done that. Tiny keeper. You, right. you, think, you think the players, the, the, the keepers, what we had, uh, Steele, Ryder, and, and Cam. Cam. Look at the defence. If we had one good keeper, the, 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 the mistakes are mad. We, 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 we Look at the defence. John scared. O'Shea. So I'm faster than John O'Shea, man, right? <laughs> What? Brendan Galloway, <laughs> who the hell was he? He was terrible. Ty- Tyler Browning, yeah, he's had a good game, but he was terrible. Mark, Mark Wilson, over the hill, from Bournemouth, like over it. the hill. Oh, so your the- defence there is absolutely dog shit, right? And you're saying that key team was good enough. The defence wasn't no. even League One quality, man. No, I think that. Ashley Fletcher couldn't score a goal so to save his you, life. Do you honestly believe that it was acceptable for that team, though, to finish below Burton Albion, Barnsley and Bolton? No way. No, we should. No chance. If, if, if we get, if, no I mean, chance. I'm not playing on Sam and Grace now as, as well, but don't forget that it went down. If we'd. If we'd, oh, yeah, if we'd got a better sure. manager, I think <laughs> uh, they were getting the best out of the players would have steered up. And that was, that was a bad... Um, okay, but then, just say that, they were employed. Who employed Simon uh, Grayson? Uh, Martin Bain, right? Oh, yeah, and who employed Martin Bain? <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> how many mistakes did them keepers make that cost oh, us points? I mean, if you look back oh, at that season... That is exactly my exactly. point. Which so, why position would you want to change? If you go back in time, which is the key position that made the mistakes that led into more goals yeah. that... Cost us points. I would I say do. the goalkeeper. Yeah. You, you, you would say that though. I, I do also agree to your point. I do. I do, I do also quite yeah. agree to your point. What Dean said though, like the goalkeepers didn't come us. I thought Reuter was okay personally. I think if he'd been in the team long enough, we might have stayed up anyway. Mm. But the defence did not take responsibility right. in front of it. Right. Right. Was, you so know, the, the so. season we went down the championship, we scored fifty-two goals. That's not even good enough to even get you mid-table that 52 goals we conce- needs to be good defensively we're con- but we win we're conceded <laughs> well, that's the point we should have been good defensively we're conceded 18 we finished 24th there's three teams above where who finished higher than us and you're going on like they're worse teams than us clearly they weren't our team was poisonous it was lapless it had no quality about it it was a league one team I think if we kept that team in League One, we would probably not okay. have made playoffs. Countering that, then mm. the the run of form, say the last seven or eight games. I think off the top of my head, we beat Derby four one. We lost three one to Sheffield Wednesday. Right, here's a pattern here: drew with Leeds, drew with Norwich, drew with Reading, lost to Burn, lost to Fulham, beat Wolves. Right, we beat Wolves, who were the team that were actually top of the league Aye. and had finished champions. Why? Because the players put the extra 10% in and put the extra effort in. And there was a few months in the midway through the season where they were so sackless, and the minute they went 1-0 down, instead of staying in the game, instead of thinking, oh, we might fight for survival here, nah, we'll just crumble and let ourselves fall. It wasn't down to a lack of quality, it was down to a lack of heart, fight and yeah. desire. Count, right? count the argument quickly, though. Um, count- we played Wolves. Wolves were already promoted. They didn't have to play, so we won that game because they probably put like players who they didn't need to play in the first team and they were already promoted they were on the holiday they were on the beach could you so argue, you that could, 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 could you not argue the counter though we were already relegated and therefore did we have to play our game it was people, people were checking themselves game. in the shop window that's what people do like in Newcastle when they went down okay. people like Wijnaldum see players who never turned up all season when they got relegated well, played see, against Tottenham what, what, what you just said then put themselves in the shop window they raised the game play better and all of a sudden we win 3-0 and there's so a that when one, we needed it also one recurring <laughs> theme when Chris Coleman came in charge, who went in the huff and didn't want to play for him? McGeady. Yeah, the McGeady. <laughs> yeah, true. He pulled his finger right. out and was friends with Chris Coleman and actually played them games for Coleman. We might have actually stayed up and even with a better keeper we might not have. Well, you know what? You stay, you stay up, okay. right? Right, so you stay up. Ellis Short still says, I'm not pumping money into the club. So in the season after, we're going to be in the same board again, right? I still That's think it was sold us. I still think it was sold us. Well, who's we, we were poisonous. We were doing nothing. We had crap players who won big wages, loads of debt. Do you not think, right? do you, do you not think Stuart Donald is saying that to like, um, obviously the club, but we're in the third tier, if you can get us, get us at a cheap price, obviously you can barter with him, he's, he's managed, managed to clear the debt off, he's looking at him and Charlie's looking at him and going, well, I buy it cheap, we'll get them up in the first season, need, need plan B, get us promoted, and then we'll double our money, well, we'll get up, get up with can that. Can I say something though? say it might take two years though. Well, can I say something though? Why do you think we're going to get promoted straight away? We had eight players. We didn't even have a squad, so how can you say we're going to definitely get promoted with eight players? And some of them are like Sir Barley Mumba, who hadn't even played, who played one game in the championship. So to, to say we're going to get straight up is spammy. To kind of get back on point here with the Hawkers, um, I think we've. T- we had heard from Stuart Donald, and yet, whether people like agree with him or not, it's, it's out. I think it was on the Roker Report podcast, so it's, it's openly said it. 
that we came in with Stuart Donald um, and John Smith and had explained the deal fair enough in that when Stuart Schultz sold the club those two came in and apparently and they even said themselves go and ask Alex so it can't be them making this up on the fly I don't believe that they said that they were the only ones that were prepared to take the club on without hemorrhaging the stadium name without taking the debt on their own hands and no one else was prepared to apparently allegedly prepared to take the club without those conditions so if we'd sold to someone else they would have been oh well we've got work we'll, we'll, we'll Loiter, well, what is it? We'll leverage the stadium alight. We'll leverage the academy alight. We'll leverage the, the, the assets the club's got. We will take the debt on so the club still owes us 150 odd million. Don Meffin didn't do that. And if well, say, people say, like to admit that or not, they didn't do say that. Say Donald didn't come in, right? And we still oh, had Ella Short really now, mm -hmm. right? We still had Ella Short last season, right? Mm -hmm. Do you believe we would have the same season we did last season? Fair enough, it was a failure, but we would, would we've even came close to that I think because we would have sold Catamole. You would have got off of the, all the big earners, even if you had to release them or what, and yeah. we would have just. No, kept, no, no. Just no I mean, if, if we kept short, and and you know we, we employed a manager who was you know a bit more. But remember, keep, keep, remember what I said to you? A bit more capable. No, I, I don't know. But like I'm saying, I think that was. Got, I'm, I'm going away, away from things here, but if for me the biggest. Um, the wrong decision that uh, Stuart Donald did was um, was a point job loss. I don't believe that. I think too many games are cost by draw. I, I, I don't believe that. How many games are, would, would you draw? 19, 20 games and sit as that? I don't remember. We had a second chance at Wembley to get up in the playoffs and we bottled it. That's not down to Ross. That's not down to Ross. Oh, Donald, that's down to the players who didn't turn up. And, 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 and remember, the play, we were in front in that game. However, we got gifted it. We were in front. Yeah, Keep I, the clean sheet I, and you promote it. I, I, do, so. I do believe that the short time was up and... You know, he's gone and I'm pleased he's gone. And now Donald's in. Now Donald said he hates being called a chancellor. He hates being called right, so. that because I'm in to make shitload of money. I don't care about the club. I do believe his heart in the right place. I'm not so sure about Charlie Medford, but I do believe Donald's heart is in the right place. And he wanted to do the best for Sunderland when he came in. And he's done some absolutely fantastic decisions for Sunderland. But has the club now become too big for him? Of course it hasn't. And I see him there. He's, he's got the club's best interest at heart. If that was the case, why, why has he not brought any players in this month? You know why? Because oh. we thought, well, the fans have forced him out, saying we don't want you. So why would that's, you? That's why would excuse. you put money that's, into that's the club? Excuse, you want to say? That's an excuse. That's an excuse. excuse. How's that an excuse? He hasn't, why would, would he you, hasn't spent a penny. He hasn't spent a penny. Right, that's fair enough. But you know yeah. why? Would you? He's got two loan loans. Would, would you? Would you spend money? Three loans. Would you? Would you spend money? On a car when you know you want to sell it. No. Right, tell you what, I'll give you two minutes to talk and I'll let him talk two minutes. And right. Have the right. So why would someone put into a club if he if he wants to sell it? So he's going to put money in and probably not get that money back. So no, why no. why would you put money in if you he, if he's going to sell it? You don't do that with a car. You don't put loads no. of money in and then I've got two minutes. But you don't put loads of money into a car and then sell it. So now he's basically saying we'll do free, we'll do what they short done in the uh, championship season. Yeah. We'll wheel and deal. We'll try and do this. I don't get us wrong. The squad we've got now is play -off, looks like playoff potential now. Maybe yeah. going up automatically. He only needs a few more signs, but he's not going to put money in if the fans want him out. So I understand why he's not putting putting money in because people know, want him out. You know, so you just make a quick quest. Do you know pass me phone? I'll time it on your phone. No, if Dean's finished with oh, one right. shot, oh, nice. no, no, you've you got a car, right? Like my car's going to you in, in, in March, right? It needs two new tyres and the police needs a service, right? The, what I mean there is, is that, um, that Stuart Donald, he's got the opportunity, well, it's for me, he's, he's, he's wasting the opportunity. He could bring a few players in and then get his promoters and then he can his little, he's, he's money he wants to mark, he double, double, double the price he wants to sell and get it, get out of there. But no, he's just holding back, holding back, he's just going to look around, get free transfers and then we'll just send him in the playoffs again. And but again, it's but again, again, that's relative to the league though. Who 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 slowed out and splashed his money in League One? Well, we've got ten million. Liam Boyce, one hundred and fifty thousand. That is true. Got fifteen goals. Right. Can I just say something? What makes you think Parkinson wants Liam Boyce? Look at the players he wants. He wants big, tall players. So why would he want Liam Boyce? So that could come. That could come down to a manager's decision. Not Donald. That's not. It's down to the manager. If the manager wants him. Better than Charlie White. So what would you do for the rest of the transfer window? What do you mean? Would you bring players in a free transfer? Would you bring loan easy? Would you expend some money? Well, obviously, I'd want to spend money, but if if Stuart Donald's going to sell the club, why would he want to spend any money? So who's going to come in? Are we going to buy anybody at all? I don't believe so. No, you're not going to spend a penny. What would you do? Well, if I was Stuart Donald, I'd be like, well, thinking this is my last chance to only. I'd be like, can can get you. Well, Lane Boyce has got to. Is he going to hearts or hips? He wants to play Scotland. Get get a couple of strike, couple midfielders, a couple of defenders. Get all out. Get 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 us in the best best possible. 
Yeah, a position we can to have a go at getting automatic but okay. he's not doing that as he is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut with this then. You know what you're saying that, um, oh, well, you made me forget it now. <laughs> right, you know what you're saying that obviously, like, Sean, you know, he could invest in. Okay, I've got one. You know what you said, Ellis Short invested so much money, it was wasted and wasted and wasted, right? We spent three million on Will Greg and that hasn't turned out. Well, so what's all happening? It was two. So it was 500k on 09, 500k on Dobson, 1 million on um, What with the power show payment money? Which of course, the, the power show payment money. The power show payment, 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 payment money goes to Ellis Shaw. That was in the deal. Well, so, so uh, Will Green was a complete panic buy. It should never have gotten rid of yeah, Magic. But, but Magic, the Magic situation, that was left to uh, Donald because of Short, because Short didn't get him to sign the deal. Yeah. And also, let's remember with Josh Madger, he lied to the club and lied to the fans and pretty much implied, oh, I'm happy to stay. Oh, no, let's do a complete 180 instead of signing a new contract. That, that no, agent. that's down to Madger for is me. Agent, is the agent no one in the bigger picture of the pie? Grow a pair of bollocks and tell them to place off. Can I say, right, under Shorts, tenure, the 10 years, right, from the 09 season, right, we finished 13th and 10th and 13th, right? So that's the first three seasons, right? And then we go 17th, 14th, 16th, 17th and 20th. And don't get four of them or great escapes. So when you see him put money into the club, yeah. right, he put money in, but he bought shite. He bought absolute shite. You're supposed, to, him, you're supposed to improve. Because he employed the wrong people. That's to his fault. fault. But that's that's bad, bad ownership. Wait, well, uh, well, it is because he, he's, he's not a football man. Like, well, well, I agree. So, that. Then, so, so then he should have realised and researched who was a football man and then get him on right, the club. Right, right, right. Quinn shouldn't have been allowed Don't to forget, like you say, Short got with back, the back relegations in the championship season. That was all his fault because he said, I am not putting any more money into the club. I wash my hands with fucking Sunderland. Okay, so... Yeah. You know, so but Stuart Donald, Stuart Donald, the, his, the history books will see Stuart Donald has got a sort of a lost. I because this is the lowest, this is the lowest we've ever been. That's why. Right, Look at the mess when he came in. You're you're just looking at the Premiership. No. Oh, we used to be right, in the Premiership. You've got right. to realise when we won. <laughs> Let me just let's just count this right. So we're seeing at the minute, yeah, it's it's our lowest ever position, but it's not dealt with owner. He doesn't go out on the pitch. It's the manager and the players that are responsible for that. But yeah, the obvious is that Donald bought the manager in the manager gets played. So yeah, but who at the end of the day put us in League One in the first place? Which owner under which owner did we put League One in the first place? We wouldn't have, we wouldn't be calling this our lowest ever league position if Short had invested. Even just like you look at the bottom of the Championship. Just say for example, if we just invested five ten million, nothing. Today's market, nothing. Short could Short could have done that, but he didn't. Right. Did you do that? We would have easily stayed up. I agree. I agree. With ding ding that. ding. <laughs> Ellis Short wipes the slate clean. Yeah. Right. The least he could have done, by the way. Who would you rather have at the club now? Donald or Short? Short. No, it's not Short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I said that wrong right now. <laughs> Stuart Donald, easily. No competition. Donald? Easily. Short. Short? Yeah. Short. Yeah. So you'd rather stick with the man who got in this position in the first place and something new? Well, at least, at least, at least if, if Short was in charge now... You would have, he he would have bought loads of players, wouldn't he? He'd, 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 he'd try and spend some money. No, he would have, he would have got rid of Catamull in the first season. He would have got rid of all the players of the Euro in the first season and he would have let the Academy players take right. over. So, 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 hang on, hang on, so, hang on. so you said he would have spent loads of money. Remind me, how much did he spend in the Championship season compared to what we sold on players? I think... I think the, the, 32 I million sold, 1.25 million. I think that was just the case of... I, I agree. We, I agree. There was some, some costs. Sorry, man. Uh, there was some costs at the club that did need to be accounted for. We did need to pay them off. But to sell Jordan Picker for thirty million and not invest a, not even ten million of that, uh, give over. I agree with give that. Give over. Man. Come on. Do you know when you make loads of mistakes and you keep making mistake after mistake after mistake? Gamblers, they just keep gambling when they lose. They gamble and they gamble and they gamble to get rock bottom to they realise they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Ella Short kept making bad mistake after bad mistake after bad mistake. Then he wiped the slate clean. Yeah. He's had to sit back. And he's realised he made loads of mistakes right. and he wished he did things differently. So now, if he was the owner of the club right now, would he actually put money in and do things differently? No. Or would he still be a loser? Still be a loser? Right, so, <laughs> so you're happy So you're happy in 174 home league games, home games, we won 48. You're happy with that, are you? Right, well, it's Premier League. Premier, so, Premier League. Right, it's Premier League. So Premier League, what, 48 yeah. games in nine seasons, you're happy with that? Well, no, it's, okay. it's, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it was great, like, but in the day... And what does that say there? We were making 500,000 a week loss since he took over the club. So he knew we were making a loss, but he done nothing to combat it. He didn't have a structure in place. At least Donald came in and tried to have a structure. Yeah, I mean, like, and also under Short, we did spend, what was it, a grand a month on plastic plug oh, pants? Or let's move away from Short, let's go to Donald. And the situation the club's in now with Donald here mm -hmm. is, is it going to be better that Donald sells the club now or stays until the end of the season? But at the end of the day, would, would, but I'll, answer, I'll answer that question with a question. Would we have got the 10 million investment if we weren't in a more attractive proposition. No, that's, that's, that's one good thing. What, uh, um, sorry, guys. What Stuart Dunn has done. He has he's, doing again, he obviously, he's come in, and I think you need, you need somebody to come in and look at everything and assess everything that he has. And he's obviously brought the cost right down. 
and he has made, made us a more, uh, he's managed a pro profitable uh, co company. You know what I mean? Which that's, that, that I will give him respect for. But he's had, I mean, you've got to think it's his second season now, and he's had four transfer windows, and he's, we're still in, the, in a situation where it's, you know, we should be getting this player, we should be getting that player, we just didn't, we didn't we, we, it never happened. Well, as you say, it doesn't come down, it's not coming down to Donald, that, that comes down to Parkinson. You might say, do you want us to go and get him boys? And he goes, nah, because look at last season, when they, he went, I can, I can get Jack Ross, a couple of more players if he wants, and the Jack Ross went, I'm happy with my squad. So, that's what down with Donald, probably Donald's went, do you want boys? He went, nah, I didn't need him, I've got, I've got, I've got so, Laffy White. And so, do you, do, you think, do you think Donald is saying to Parkinson, mate, there's somebody can spend it? Is he fuck? No, he's he saying, fuck? he might be going, do you want this player? And Parkinson's probably saying, nah, I didn't need him. I do believe, I think, that Jack Ross wanted other players and Donald didn't have the finance to, to back Jack Ross as much as Jack Ross wanted. I think we'll never know that what really happened, but I think right now Donald should put some of that 10 million into the club mm. that he's been given from MSD because right. right. he's allowed to use right. it I'll, still. I'll and agree with buy that. one or two players, still yeah, at the end fair. of the season, and find a decent buyer at, towards the close season. But if we do sell now, I mean, the favourites of MSD to come in and some Chinese consortium. Mm -hmm. Do you want Donald to sell the club now or stay at the end of the season, Dean? Well, if he's going to sell it now, it's going to be plenty. So it's just going to complicate things throughout the season, isn't it? It's right. going to complicate things. Right, so right. you stick with him till the end of the season yeah. and then you get rid because everything that goes off the pitch, like goes on off the pitch, affects the players on it. So just keep it the same now till the, till the end of the season. Yeah. If we get promoted, people are going to go, Donald's a fucking genius. I I, John, well, I still, even if, even if we get promoted, I think get the, we get the championship financially, he kind of uh, taps to the, the next level. He's admitted, he's, he's been honest about that. We're going to need like a new one this summer if we go up 100% because, um, I mean, if it's, it's, it's a different level. Oh, of course it? it is. And you're going to, I mean, look at our squad now, look at us. I mean, the players, I mean, can you honestly look at any of them players who can do a job in the championship? There's not many, is there really? Yeah, so it's going to need a most, massive, yeah. there's going to be a massive overall. That's the most you're going to think of. But I do think Stuart Dunn should stay at the end of the season. I agree with what you're saying. Right? Pretty much what the other two have said. Same here. So someone has come into the club and they, they just love a club. They have the club at heart. And that wonderful owner from Leicester was giving out loads of different things to, to the fans, scarves, I don't know if it was cups and pies, yeah, and all sorts of things. Absolutely, I mean, God rest his soul, absolutely yeah. fantastic owner yeah, to club. share what happened. Yeah. But do you think Stuart Donald came into the club with a club at heart, or was he thinking about his pocket? Could it, could it, does it have to, I was gonna say, does it have to be one or the other? Could no, it both? what's your thoughts? When you, when you buy a business, you wanna make more money, so, He's come in and he's bought, he's bought, he's got the club and he's thinking straight away, right, I need to do this, I need a structure in place, I need a plan. He's came in and had a plan. He's said that from the start, he says, the first season, I want to go, but if we don't, we've got the second season, because I think the fans will give us two seasons. Which is fair enough, because we only had eight players, but he had the club at heart because he worked, he's been working there every single day. He's, he's trying to get the costs down by doing certain things. He says, we're paying 10 million or something for policing. He says in the league one that should never happen. Yeah. So he's looked at the finest little details. Look at the flowers. What was it something about the flowers that were paying like fifty grand for flowers or something yeah. like that? Stupid little things like that, and he's cut that down. That's the love of the club. He's trying to get everything down so it's runnable. It wasn't runnable under short. And has it been harshly done to him now, by? I would say yes. I would, I would say yes. It was it was heartbreaking when people don't forget that's the players on the pitch. The players didn't turn up. We got gifted a one in the lead, and the players bottled it. That doesn't come down to Donald. It comes down to the players. So next season, you get rid of the bottlers and you improve it. Have we improved? Uh, do you think that was Jack Ross's mentality though? Like in that in that game, the one there, we got the goal, and he just it just seemed to me like we were just sitting back and sitting well, back. Well, never what Matt, our, our, our defense kind of. I mean, last season he proved you. We kind of we kind of defend the one goal. Remember, 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 remember what Mad said. Remember what Mad said. He said. Uh, Jack Ross got asked why why they were uh, sitting back. He went, I don't ask tell the players to sit back. So it was a, it was a player mentality thing. Mm -hmm. Protected, protected, protected. And to be honest, we only had one way of playing. I was going to see a point. I've got come back to the other short thing. I, I, do you not think that as well? Do you not feel a little bit sorry for the bloke that <laughs> he just? I mean, he employed a lot of a lot of managers. I mean, some good managers in in, in that uh, list. Whether they won there, I mean, Martin O'Neill, proven manager, come here, just didn't work out. And then finally, he gets a manager for me. In the end, Big Sam. We we'll stayed that season. No, if he stayed that season, we we'll wouldn't. Yeah, next we'll, season. Well, we'll, 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 we'll finish we'll, this. We'll, we'll, but, 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 fine. but ultimately, Shaw didn't back Sam. And I'm saying, if, 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 if he stopped, if he stopped, and never went in, well, 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 we'd we finish that next season. Mike. So, are, are, we, are we assuming this is on the assumption of Big Sam staying? Aye. Well, but first, let's clarify this. Would Big Sam have stayed if he didn't get the full money he was promised? 
No, but see, see if he got the money that was promised, where, 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 where would we have finished if, if he'd steered and couldn't get the money? I would argue, well, depending, mid, on, mid, on, mid, mid, depending on how good the recruitment is, I'd push, say, push the top I'm seeing, 10. So I'm seeing, do you think Ellis Short has just been... But again, but again, ultimately, Shaw didn't give Sam the money. If Shaw had given well, Sam, got, if Shaw had given Sam the money, yeah, well, yeah. he gave him it in January, and he got Casley and uh, Corny, and he got yeah, fifty um, million. Kirch off, and he yeah, goes, but that, that was in a window when Newcastle spent twenty five, thirty million. After yeah. Shaw would see how the fan base that we had that Everton match we had forty odd thousand, absolutely fantastic night when no, um, really, uh, when we steered on. Sam Allardyce was, was, was an amazing night that night. Had a team there. Surely Ella Shaw could see how much the club and the fans loved Sam Allardyce. Surely if Sam Allardyce steered, he would have, he would have backed him I mean, this season. I, 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 will, I will defend Shaw on one thing, actually. If Sam leaving, main architect of him leaving was England, that, that can't, he can't be blaming Shaw for that. that if Sam wanted to leave England... Well, that's you know, I can't blame Shaw for not preparing for losing Big Sam because I'm trying to talk about two or three weeks forward to get David Moyes and let's be fair David Moyes had done nothing since he left Everton he got sacked from Man United and he was in Spain and had absolutely nothing he's got no relegation experience so mm. to get David Moyes in that's a big big mistake on his point he could have got loads of other people there was a class on the contract one there I'm, I'm sure and, and, uh, Big Sam's contract I'm sure that was, there was a class saying that if England come then he could, then he could you know what I mean so before we end this debate um I just want to, we've all clarified who we like, who we think we should stay who own the club now. We've got one person who says, you know, we've got Sean Shaw, and we all said Donald. But what has Donald got to do now in this transfer window to get us promoted? And which positions do we have to get? Which are the vital positions? Left back. You go, you, if you get in Jadway, nah, nice. probably a right back because one is not a right back and you've got Conor McLaughlin who's not exactly setting the world alight. I think you need a centre midfielder who can actually run with the ball mm -hmm. and actually do something instead of passing it sideways and backwards. Yep. Oh, well. And another winger, because we're lack wingers. I think we're not going to get a strike up because if we were, we would have got Liam Boyce. But I believe, whatever people believe about Liam Boyce, why we didn't go in for him for we know we're in for him. But do you think that Will Greig, if he stays, can actually come good on nah, Phil Parkinson? Nah, we've given him time. We've given him enough time and he's done nothing. So for me, bye bye, Greg. Good luck, to, good luck to you wherever you go. But you, you will not. You're not the man for something anymore. Sean, um, we need two second midfielders. Um, I would agree with Dino. Maybe he's got a, a left back if we can, um, and a striker. So well, so a left back, two two midfielders and a striker. At least four. At least four players. That's is Mark McNulty going to stay? No. I think going to go, is he? Uh, he's, he's, he's injured, he's always injured. Well, so he's been on the bench, he's, he's chopping in the bit, just found what his problem is, it was his back rather than his hamstring, he's now fit as a fit as a flea, so he's not going to stay, he's definitely going to go, do you think? Uh, well, I think we should just let him go and get somebody who's going to play regularly. I mean, I was going to see about um, Greg, actually, there, were, there was been rumours that would be um, going to swap him with somebody. Oli Noor, Oli Noor, Ben, centre midfielder, get him, mm. do it. But he's on, ten, he's on 10 grand a week, uh, well, really, apparently he's on 10 grand a week. Well, you know what we'll have to do? We'll have to do we'll we'll have have to pay, what we'll have to do with everyone. We'll have to pay him a little bit off, right? It depends how much Will Greg values playing football. Right. How much you last question for you is... Let's ask Michael, Michael, yeah, who do you think? <laughs> who would you bring in? And the thing is, Donald going to actually bring somebody in. Well, first, right, okay, well, Donald, it depends on how badly Donald wants to get promoted. Um, I think that we need to get in a good few positions. Uh, I think we need a left back, like Dino said, we need cover for Hume. Yep. I disagree with Sean, obviously we've had the Max Power debate, I'm not getting into that again. <laughs> um, I think Max Power's more than good enough, I'm amazed, people can't see that personally. Uh, Stockerty, I think you need, some I do agree with you though, that I think we need someone who can unlock the door, unlock the defence. We're never going to get Marcus Madison, but Doherty could be a perfect fit, alleged, uh, reportedly anyway. And more, you need a striker who's going to score goals. But, you know, ultimately, is Lafferty going to get the goals? Probably not. Is White going to get the goals? Well, definitely not. Uh -huh. Greg, no, McNulty. Get out, he's no, not going to play. Exactly. And you probably could do with a winger with a bit more pace as well. So we'll, get, we'll probably only get about two of those at most because we're Sunderland and whatnot. But as I'm saying, I mean, look at though, I mean, if, 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 short, if, if, if Stuart Dillon was just, just, if it was just, just like, you know, think about it and like, look, if, if I can get three or four players in here, this, this could map the difference and it could be our season. Okay, you know yeah. I, mean? I do believe you understand. I do think Stuart Donald actually thinks that. Uh, it's for, a for, for all we know, we could be working on these deals behind the scenes and they're just... And they're just yeah. But isn't, isn't this what we've done with Will Grieve? We went until transfer deadline, dear. Weird, I remember I was in the house and I went, oh, we need to sign striker. We need to keep him away. Then all of a sudden, 10 o'clock, Will Grieve, sounds great great for you, Will Grieve. He's also a million. He's obviously <laughs> panicked, he's panicked and he's went, I need to bring somebody. But that's but incredible. Everyone thing. thought it was a good panic. Oh, well, yeah. I, did, I did like I thought it was a great so panic. So what's your final thing. question then? Final thing. question. Will McGeady be gone or will he still be here by the end of the... I'm going to say gone. I, I hope he's gone. I hope, but what do you think? The wages, I mean... Uh, I think I think he'll be gone. 
I think he'll stay just because of the wages. I think he'll stay because no one want to pay his wages. Right, so can we question for us two then? Do we then? You said yourself in the card. You said to me in the card. Do you then use him? No, you card? don't use him. You can't freeze out someone and bring him back in. He's a bad apple. You can't bring him back in. That's got to go. No way. I would make him get a job at McDonald's. There we go. <laughs> Down to pity me. You can sell me my Big Mac any day. <laughs> right, because he pays. Thanks for watching the Sunday debate. Thank you. It would have been the Sunday bunch, but top bananas away. And just remember, these two here are best mates. This is only a debate, a hypothetical <laughs> debate. They're going for a pint afterwards and a good kiss and cuddle. Right. <laughs> Please subscribe to the yeah. channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video Matt, and Matt, you've got to remember audio. I oh, yeah. mentioned the audio. Oh yes. Yeah. We're using the phone today. We're not using these mics. Testing, testing. Oh. They didn't work because I'm editing this video today. Like I said, the top bananas are here, so you've got my editing skills, which is absolutely <laughs> garbage. So again, thanks for watching the video and please bear with the sound. We're talking louder. That's I always shout anyway. Right. Thank you. See you later.